I understand that Councillor Rachel Blake is to uh, move this motion. Is that correct? It is, Chair. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. In proposing this motion, I would like to start by thanking Cara, Rebecca, Kanisha, Courtney, Chelsea, Faye and Amy for being part of the Hear Me Out group and talking to us at the uh, November Corporate Parenting Board where we started discussing having care experiences, experience as a protected characteristic. I know for all of you, I think, this is the first time that you've been to a full council meeting. And I speak on behalf of all of us when I say how much we appreciate you being here, giving up your time to attend, sitting and listening to the rest of the meeting, and for being champions of care experience people in Doncaster. We thank you for that. Thank you very much. Oh, I haven't finished, sorry. I've got a lot. I've got a lot more to say, Ian, thank you. <laughs> At the November Corporate Parenting Board, there are a number of us across the chamber that are members of that board. We heard from the Hear Me Out group and the work they had started to do on championing care experience being a protected characteristic, and more importantly, the reasons why they, based on their own experience, said we should do this. I know members of that board will be sharing their personal reflection that, on that meeting, and I too was extremely upset to hear about the discrimination and prejudice faced on a daily basis. But we as corporate parents have the opportunity to change that, and that's why we're discussing this motion today. I'd also like to th thank Tracy for the amazing work she does supporting the Hear Me Out group, and Terry, who has given up his time to come along and support our young people to be here today. And Terry has allowed me to share his words on why it's so important that we share, we support this motion. Terry is, the lead, is leading the campaign to make care experience a protected characteristic and said that the government is getting this wrong. They are getting the wrong advice. They have announced an extension of corporate parenting to public bodies but with no mechanism underpinning its implementation. He said that for a long time, local authorities galvanised networks, including business, health, justice, police, education, Department for Work and Pension, as part of corporate parenting boards. But across the country, it's a one-way street, because these external organisations see social care as the baton holder when it is the responsibility of every single arm of the state to look out for the children that it could not be looked after, those children that could not be looked after by their parents. Terry often speaks of the trauma of growing up in care and the scaffolding getting taken down when approaching the care cliff. He said that this is a pivotal moment in the life of young people and it's when the predators, the gangs, the abusers, the manipulators all converge and compete for control of the vulnerable care leaver. His family have been through so much trauma, he knows this firsthand. His sister had children taken into care. She was on drugs and had a string of relationships where she su suffered domestic violence. She, like 70% of care experienced people, died prematurely. She was murdered by her boyfriend. Terry has been working with our young people and told us how proud he is of what they are doing. We are hugely proud in this chamber as well. And he's also proud that we as a council are bringing this motion. And that's because we listened to what you said. But most importantly, he told us that when he talked to our young people, they told him about the discrimination they faced. He knew it was real because care experienced people are saying this up and down the United Kingdom. So, councillors, I urge you to support this motion. Thank you very much. Who is going to be second in this motion? Would you like to uh, speak on the item then, Winnie? Thank you, Chair. I'm thrilled to second this motion, and these are the reasons I believe it needs our support. I'm not surprised 
in any way this motion has not been given a protected characteristic by this government. I support this motion because it is so clearly the right thing to do for this vulnerable group. Mags Malowska, a care experienced social worker and community organiser says, Making care experience a protected characteristic will level the playing field so that more care experienced people are able to thrive rather than just struggle to survive. We can do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Would anybody like to speak on this motion? Councillor Leanne Hemstall. Thank you, Chair. Um, as Chair of Children and Young People's Overview and Scrutiny Panel, I welcome this motion and urge the government to make this the 10th protected characteristic of the Equalities Act to avoid any further discrimination. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would anybody else like to speak? Councillor John Mouncey. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. I'm going to use it for the football term, but I mean, it, all the good people sat there. Stand up if you care. They're here. Stand up if you care. Come on, where are you? Stand up and show them you care. Thank you. Well done, everybody. Go up there. Thank you, Chair. Would anybody else like to speak on the matter? Councillor Bob Anderson. Sorry. Uh, I recently joined the Corporate Parenting Board. My first meeting was last November, and in that meeting, a young person spoke about the stigma and discrimination that care experienced young people face every day. They explained that in the area they live, people automatically think they will bring trouble. Also, in local shops where they are known, the people in the shops automatically think they are going to steal. And even when they go to hospital, once some staff know they are in care, they are treated differently, which is just mind boggling. And to be honest, it's just not right. Care experienced young people have hearts, feelings, dreams, ambitions and goals, just like everyone else. And their potential to thrive and reach their goals should not be held back because of people's prejudice and discrimination. And we all have a role to play in that. The one thing that really stood out for me when that young person spoke back in November was when they said, if I was a normal person, I wouldn't be treated like this. It's something that will always stay with me and just one of the reasons care experience should be a protected characteristic. Care experienced young people go through so much prejudice and discrimination that they even question if they are normal, which is totally unacceptable and cannot continue. Care experienced young people are normal and should be made to feel so every single day. I will do e doing everything I can going forward to make sure this happens and why I'll be supporting this motion 100%. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Would anybody else like to speak on this item? Councillor Charlie Hogarth. Yes, Chair. Uh, I speak, I've had experience in care when I was a younger, quite a few years ago. I spent a few years in care. And when I came out of care, things were totally different. It were people were accepted. But when it's got to the stage that people have felt discriminated against because of being in care, I think it's even more important that we pass this resolution and not just pass it, but do everything we can to make we step work by it. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Would anybody else like to speak on the matter? Councillor Sarah Smith. Hi, thanks, Chair. Um, yeah, I would also really love to support this uh, motion. And as a university lecturer, I see firsthand how underrepresented people are with care experience within higher education. And one of my students last year was a, a care leaver, and they did their practice on what it was to experience that. And for me, that was incredible eye-opener. And when we were trying to patch uh, support from local authority to higher education to things like that is really really difficult and it's very really clear that a lot of organizations and institutions don't understand the complexities and the lived experiences and some of the trauma that happens within that process 
and the, the resilience of those young people as well. So I think um, I would really call on uh, everybody supporting this. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Would anybody else like to speak? Councillor Tim Needham. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, as a member of the Corporate Parenting Board and also Vice Chair of Children and Young People Scrutiny Panel, I support this motion wholeheartedly. At the Corporate Parenting Board in November 2022, I heard stories where members of the Hear Me Out group shared their experience of discrimination, prejudice and feeling different, being treated differently in every aspect of their lives and told us about a campaign to make care experience a protected characteristic. I listened with sadness um, and was really affected by what I heard and um, as a board, we resolved to make care experience a protected characteristic. In my personal life, uh, sorry, in my professional life, um, I know all too well the additional difficulties care experienced people face, both as young people um, and as adults, and also parents, uh, on a daily basis. Despite calls from many organisations and despite the overwhelming evidence which showed the disadvantaged um, that care experienced people experience, the government has not made care experience a protected characteristic. We, along with the other councils listed in the motion, um, are not prepared to wait for this government to act. And this has been our gift as a council, but also call on our team Doncaster Partners to do the same. Despite care experienced people making up 1.4% um, of the UK population, they account for 25% of the homeless people in England and a quarter of prison population. Nearly half of all 21-year-olds in contact with the criminal justice system um, have been in care. Designating care experience um, as a protected characteristic would force public bodies and decision makers to consider the needs of care leavers more seriously. Young people leaving care need to be met with compassion rather than judgment from the system and structures of society as well as with the wider public. Making care experience a protected characteristic will level the playing field so more care experienced people are able to thrive rather than just a struggle to survive. We are all corporate parents and so I urge you all to support this motion. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much indeed. Would anybody else like to speak? Councillor Tracy Moran. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, I'm also a member of the Corporate Parenting Board and back in November I was I was shaken to my core and so disturbed after hearing the stories of these young people that through no fault of their own end up in this situation and have to live with that stigma and discrimination for the rest of their lives. Now, I've not been in the care system, but I've been um, a foster carer and I'm still in touch with a lot of young people that I have had through my family over the years. And they still, as adults, are, are terribly, terribly affected. Even when they were loved and supported, it's a big deal. The world's got to wake up and listen and understand what's happening to these poor children. And I don't mean that in a pitying way, just that they deserve so much more, so much pride and respect from us because they are marvellous. That's yeah, what I want to yeah. say. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Would anybody else like to speak? There are no further requests to speak, Chair. Thank you very much indeed. In that case, we will move to the vote. Sorry, Rachel, I forgot your right of reply. My apologies. Oh, thank you very much, Chair. And you might not know this, but we don't ever clap. We've never stood up. So you have caused us to do something totally different. So thank you for that. Um, so what will happen next? I would like to thank everybody for their support. I think I hope you realise that was heartfelt. People want to support this motion and they wanted you to hear how they're going to support this motion. Um, what will happen next is I think we've explained that this will go to our cabinet meeting on the 29th of March. That's our formal process for agreeing that care experience will become a protected characteristic in uh, Doncaster Council, City of Doncaster Council. And we'll also obviously, as the motion says, formally be asking our team Doncaster partners to do the same. I will extend that invite to, that, to the cabinet meeting and we hope that you'll be able to come along to that as well, school and other commitments permitting. What I would just say is that when I spoke to Terry about this, as I have done a couple of times, the hard work starts now. 
And yes, we all support the motion, but if we are going to make the difference that everybody in this room wants to make, then we will work with you, you will hold us to account, and in Doncaster, we are going to make it very, very different for people with care experience. So thank you, everybody. We're going to now move to the vote. Rep for no, green for yes, white for abstention. Green for yeah, yes. Right. You done yours? Yeah. We're now going to close the vote. Thank you, Dom. Chair, the motion has passed. 44 votes to zero. No abstention. May I say that I think the vote indicates the support that uh, Doncaster is going to give you in the future and good luck with your campaign for the characteristic to be recognised. We're going to move to the next item which will be item 16 which will